Hi, welcome to Simply NAS Media. Today we have the QNAP ES1640 DC dual controller unit. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the box that uh, almost killed the FedEx guy. As we open this one up, of course you'll notice, just like most of the larger units, it's got an outer and an inner box. As we get into the inner box, you'll notice all of the packaging. You'll have the rail kit, the accessories box, all of the packaging here holding the unit down. Um, and you also have a few other accessories in here as far as cabling for the getting the device on the unit and some of the other rack clips. So if you'll give us a few minutes here, we'll go ahead and unbox this one and we'll be right back. Alright, so now that we have the unit unpacked, uh, first thing you'll notice is this unit is a 16 bay. Uh, the power switch is right here. It's this little kind of squeeze button. And then all of your LEDs are actually here in this little panel. All of these additional holes here on the side, there's no actual LEDs there. Those are more of uh, cosmetics, really. Um, drive trays, very easy to work with. Just pull them out. That's your standard drive tray for this unit. Now let's take a look at the back real quick. Go to the back of this unit. See along the side you have all the mounting holes for the rack rails. Then we get here to the back. Now you'll notice that you see double. So on each side of these you have pretty much the same thing. This is a dual controller unit. So each one of these particular module units are the same. Um, you have your power supplies. You actually have battery backups here. Then here you'll have your, your mini SAS expansions. Also have another mini SAS here. Uh, you also have two 1 gig Ethernet connections. And this is actually going to be your, your management port uh, pretty much like a one gig managing control port. Um, then here you have one for servicing and for maintenance on the unit. Now you'll notice that back here there's no typical flip switch for the power. It's this tiny little button right here. That's going to be the power button. It's kind of like a pre-staging power for each module. So you can push that to power it on and then you can use the button at the front to go ahead and power the entire unit at that point. So now that we've discussed the features of the outside of the device and some of the features of the unit itself, let's go ahead and go over both of those accessory boxes that I showed you when we opened it up. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive into these boxes. Now this is going to be the smaller one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So once we open this one up, first thing that we'll notice inside, we have our quick start installation guide. We have some other helpful information here concerning some other components that are in the other package that I'll explain in a moment. Uh, and you'll have these stickers. Now these stickers, you'll notice on one side they have a 10K SAS, and on the other side they have SSD SAS. Now these stickers actually would go right here in these little flat, smooth spaces to identify what drives you have in the unit. You'll also have some more, more stickers to attach into the unit just as cautions. Uh, you'll also have all of your mounting hardware for the drives into the drive trays. Right, and now we have the console cable for the device. That'll work in the management port in the back that I showed you earlier. Then here you'll have one of the service covers. We'll actually go here on the front. And you'll have one for the opposite side that will cover this side as well. Now you'll notice on the sides, you may not be able to see that very well, but there are actually numbers on the side of these they'll pretty much tell you what location the drive is as far as uh, where it would sit on the unit. You have a couple of Ethernet cables here for connecting the device to your network. Then here inside the box, these are the batteries that would be installed into the battery backup sections on the modules themselves. 
here comes the big box. This is where all the good stuff is. All right, so once we open this one up, these little pieces here, these little brackets that I mentioned earlier were actually for the racks. I stand corrected. Uh, these are actually adapters that go from SATA to SAS, transposer adapter, adapters. Um, so pretty much the, the transposer would sit in here. You'd pretty much mount that into the tray. This way the drive would fit in that way. Got several sets of these here in the box. We have a few more Ethernet cables which you can use to connect all of the connections of all the modules onto your network. And then you'll have the power cords for each of the power supplies. Alright, so now that we've covered all of the physical features of the device and we've covered the components of the accessories boxes, let's talk a little bit more about some of the features about this device you may not have heard about it. Um, this particular unit is the, the first one uh, that is an active, active unit. So high accessibility is incredibly fast with this one, incredibly efficient. Um, like I mentioned before, it is modular, so you don't have to worry about you know, different trays all the time. You just have two separate units that you can work with as far as you know, component-wise. Um, it is running twin Xeon processors. It also works with the Open ZFS operating system. Um, and it also has the capability to support over 65,000 backup snapshots if you were to ever need that. Um, it's also capable with the HPE Helion and the OpenStack cloud systems. If you have any questions on this device or if you'd like to get any more information, you can leave a comment below in the comment section there. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. If you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest videos that we have, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at sales at simplynas.com or give us a call at 407-960-4690. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you later.